Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome to part 3 of taxation. Here we are going to go through section C questions. Okay. So as you see section C, we stopped previously in part 2 with section B questions. Okay. You can see the part 1 and part 2 if you haven't watched part 1 where I discussed about section A questions, part 2 where I discussed about section B questions and this is part 3 section C questions. Okay. So here I will be taking more time because this needs to be calculations needs to be done here and also you need to write okay and it needs to be shown properly your workings and all okay so let us start this is about nic okay so calculate the overall saving of tax and nic okay if joe had paid himself gross director's remuneration of 8000 and dividends of 46.70 so let us read the notes and you have been given the excel and it's for 10 marks okay you are expected to calculate the income tax payable by job so what are you expected to calculate okay income tax payable by job okay the class 1 nic payable by both job and oak okay by both job and oak okay job limited that means there will be two class 1 nic and the corporation tax liability for the okay job limited for the year ended 5th of April 2021 and you should assume that the rate of corporation tax remains unchanged okay so let us read the case study joy is the managing director and 100% shareholder of ok joy limited he is he has always withdrawn the entire profits of the company has died as remuneration but given a recent increase in profitability he wants to know whether this basis of extracting the profit is beneficial for the year ended 5th April 2021 ok joy limited's taxable total profit before taking account of the latest remuneration are this much Okay, so taxable profit is this much, which is 65,000 before taking account of data's remuneration after allowing for offer employers class 1 NIC. So, class 1 NIC is this much, and Joyce gross data's remuneration is this one. Okay. So it is Joyce Gross remission. The figure for the employer's NIC does not deduct the 4000 employment allowances. Okay. Because Joy is okay, Joy Limit is only employee. This is not available. Okay. There's a rule like that. We have an employee uh, employment allowance, which is 4000, which could be deducted, but not in this case. Why? Because when you are only having one employee, you are not eligible for that employment allowance of 4000. Okay. So this figure with 6817 which was employers and as you cannot deduct the 4000 employment allowance from there okay so let us read so what is your first thing you have to do in a requirement you are supposed to calculate income tax both class 1 and ic 2 class 1 and ic and corporation tax liability four things you have to calculate so first we are going to start with the income tax okay or always follow the order which they have given the requirements in. So first income tax, then class one NIC, then the corporation tax liability. Okay. It's like first in, first out. Five four bases you have to do. So here when you're calculating income tax payable, there will be two, not just one. Why? The question asks, read this again. Calculate the overall saving of tax and NIC. Saving of tax, okay? For the year ended, if Joe had instead paid himself gross director's remuneration of 8,000 and dividend of 46,170. If they have paid instead Okay, pay this one and dividend this one. That means, what do you have to do? What are you supposed to do? Okay, you have to take account of two things. One, just you are paying the director's remuneration. Totally, you are paying whatever the profit you are getting. You are paying the taxable income you are paying as director's remuneration. Next scenario is, it's a mixture of data's remuneration and dividends and then you will compare okay 
then only you will know how much tax you have saved or not okay so the first instance is profits withdrawn entirely as direct as remuneration okay for joy you have to clearly write since there are two things one is what okay joy limited and joy so when you are writing like this in excel what you have to do is okay and you have to be very clear excel and all is just not you are inputting some numbers you have to write who is the person okay under what which scenario you are writing all those things needs to be written in excel clear cut okay and this is not only for taxation it's also for all the other papers whatever acc papers you do you need to be clear when you are working on excel because before we when we were writing paper based it was easy to write but in excel when it comes people don't take it so important okay they just put the numbers and that's it no for whom so first you have to write as for joy or joe okay joe let me bold it out next profits withdrawn entirely as director's remuneration you need to write this because under what condition you are finding the tax okay profits withdrawn entirely as director's remuneration okay you can expand this line this okay so under this condition what happens this is condition number 1 okay and now you are going to write one why one because there are so many things you have to calculate corporation tax and also let me put a number you can put a also does not matter okay so you have to write a clear label okay what are you writing what are you calculating income tax liability of joy so you have to write joy's income tax liability okay as you can see when i'm typing it takes time to read the information and then type this answers out that's why you need to practice this section especially section c you need to practice okay section a and b even if you don't practice also you will somehow will be able to manage it within the time but section c will take a lot of time so be careful that you practice a lot of section c okay so income tax liability for what year which year be very clear which year okay 2020 21 this is how you are going to write it Okay, when you are doing tax, you are writing this like this in Excel. So here, I am going to write it. Uh, you have to write it in pounds. Okay, if you see this are in pounds. Okay, so you have to write the currency. Since you don't have the pound in your keyboard, it will it will not be there. You have a symbol on the left. Okay, go up symbol. You can insert here pounds. Insert. Okay, so you can insert here. pounds please give a text filter focus okay so now you insert just there is no text filter okay the reason is because you didn't write a number There's no text field, that's why they are not reporting the bounds. So what I'm going to do is go and format the cells. Currency. Okay. Now go and insert. There's no text to. Uh, I just put something on the cell and then insert. So it's not able to insert. There's no text field to insert the character into. Okay, so so this needs to be changed. If you want to change the, you can go to formal cells and then you can change. text okay change it to text okay now let's go and insert pounds it's not when you 
able to change and what's wrong let us work this out why it's not working because this can be an issue for you when you do it okay this is why before exam you need to go through everything and see whether it's, it's working or not it's very possible that this could happen in the exam okay so let us put here and see nope. not able to put the signs Let us go to the form itself and see. Okay, so you can go here and change the currency to pounds. Apply. Okay. No, nope, it's not going to work out. Let us try one more time. After that, if you are not able to figure it out now, so I will be leaving this for now. But you have to put a pound sign there because it's very important that this currency is there because if this does not work, you need the currency on all, especially for your financial reporting and your FM and all, you need currency. Okay, so we're not able to enter it, but let us keep the dollar sign there. Okay, but this dollar will be treated as pounds. Make sure that you see why it's not working, okay? Because it, it should work. Okay, never mind. So without wasting time, let me go to the next one. Okay. So a currency will be there, okay? Does not matter. Let us forget about. So let us write direct as remuneration. I'm going to write DR. DR means direct as remuneration. Don't use short form. Use the full name, okay? Because DR is not a standard form and short form. Wherever standard short form is allowed, you can use. Like for uh, principal private residence, you can write PRR, right? You have a residence a relief is there. private residence relief okay so that, for that you can write prr the short form is acceptable the dr is something which is created by me so what is the direct is uh, okay remuneration it is 58183 58183 so 58183 okay let us now put the symbol and see whether it works or not. Okay. So that's the latest remuneration. That the next one is personal allowance. Okay. Whenever we are calculating income tax liability, understand that you have to deduct a personal allowance. Okay. So PA. Sorry. Double click the cell PA. Personal allowance. You have to deduct. Okay. Put minus. How much is the personal allowance? You can check the formula list, okay? But better that you remember it is twelve thousand five hundred. Okay. The reason I'm putting it minus because you'll be deducting it. Okay. If you don't want to put the minus and still it's okay, you can uh, when you are calculating the end the income tax liability you can just deduct it from there. In the function you can deduct it, but here when you are putting sum. Now you can just use the sum function and drag it. It will automatically minus it because minus sign is there. Okay. So now taxable income. So taxable income. Now I can use the sum function. Okay. Just drag it. It will automatically minus it. Okay. You see this one is less than this. 
so it has been minus the personal allowance has been deducted okay now you have to find the income tax because you have to find income tax liability not taxable income so what is it what is the first group 37,500 up to 37,500 will be charged at 20 percent if you see this is more than the basic limit okay it is it falls in the higher limit so first 37,500 will be at okay you can write at 20 percent next what is it next will be this minus this okay the difference the excess which is 8183 Eight one eight three. At what percentage? Forty percentage. You see. So here, when you are doing, how are you going to do it? Equal to. You can write thirty seven five hundred. Multiply by. Twenty percent. Enter. Okay. And same you can do for the forty percent also. Okay. 8183 multiply by 40% or 0.4 that's the same okay make sure that you round this to the whole number how are you going to round this to the whole number there's a formula for that okay so, okay first okay you can round this to zero okay so the formula is like this round and when you want to round any number to a whole number comma zero okay so comma and then a zero because if you put comma one it will uh, round it up to one decimal place okay so the number of the digit will tell you uh, how many decimal places you want to round if it's one one decimal place if it's comma two two decimal place if it's comma zero means whole no decimal place okay the whole number so now you see okay this you can write it okay or you yourself can manually do it here okay if you want what you can do is here you can use a calculator here okay this is a second way of doing it if you don't want if you don't know how to round or you can so 8183 into 40% okay this you can see is 3273.2 so you don't put 0 0.2 here you just add manually you just write the type the number you're not using any function okay 327 3273 that is also acceptable as far as your numbers are correct it does not matter how you got it by using calculator or by using excel formula but excel formula definitely is much faster and all okay so next what is it income tax liability what is it Okay, you need to write income tax liability. Okay, so what is income tax liability? It's just the addition of this and this. Okay, you can even write the sum function here. So this, you cannot drag it because it is on this cell. So what you can do is, you can uh, put comma and this. Okay, when you want to add two number, it has separate column okay then you can put a comma and then you can click on the other cell it will add the two numbers because normally what we do when we put some we just drag it like this right but here we cannot drag it here because we want to take it this whole the rounded figure because in tax we always have to take to the nearest we have to round up the number to the whole number the whole digit it is only in tax okay other papers will go through and check so it is 10773 this is the income tax liability make sure that you can even make it bold to show that it is an answer or what you can do is you can color the cell okay how you are going to fill the cell go to here and you can fill the cell to know that this is the main answer okay because the requirement anyway asked you will be getting marks for this to show this because the rest all are workings okay so just you can highlight your answer to show that this is the main answer
okay you can even highlight this if you want if you don't want you can remove it and you can just bold it out perhaps but let me bold out bold okay next so this is number one okay you're finding the income tax liability number two what it is the it is the joyce class one nic joyce employee class one nic so you have to write joyce employee you have to mention which class always okay don't just write nic class one nic okay for nic yes you can write short form there you don't have to write national insurance contribution you can write nic but for which year same for 2020-21 okay r what is it okay so here if you say it's very understood okay when someone sees your excel they should be able to understand okay so this is the income tax liability so they can see the workings here it is you mentioned personal allowance tax well everything is you know one after the other need very neat what you can do is you can even close down this and you can make this big okay so next what is next class 1 nic okay the rates are different for class 1 nic how are you going to take it will be it will be okay you can directly write the formula if you don't want to show okay you can put it here in the formula if you don't want to write it here it will be You have to put the equal sign whenever you want to do any calculation remember equal sign has to be there without that no calculation will be performed 50,000 minus the lower one 9,500 this will be multiplied by what rate by what rate close bracket multiply by 12 percent enter so it is or is 60 so the moment they go here they will be able to say this or you can even write it here that this into this is this and do the calculation on the cell next it will be 58183 what is it it is this minus 50 multiply this by 2% excess is 2% okay so you see this also you need to round up to the whole decimal place so we are going to round this up this comma 0 okay 164 now I'm going to put the sum this comma this so it is 5024 okay so this is your nic you can even highlight this one okay class one nic what is next What is the next one let us go again requirement and see income tax payable by joe class one nic payable boy both join oak joy limited and corporation tax liability of ok joy limited okay so now There is okay for corporation tax. Will there be a corporation tax for OKJ okay, Limited? Next is because the third is corporation tax. We are done with class one and IC. 
there is no corporation tax liability for Kajoy Limited. Why as a professor entirely withdrawn as director's remuneration? You have entirely withdrawn the profit as director's remuneration, so you cannot have a corporation tax on the Okjoy Limited. This you need to write. You cannot just leave it. You need to write the sentence. You'll be getting marks for it. Okay. There is no okay. Whenever no, there is no tax. You need to write that there will be no tax. You cannot leave it empty. There is no corporation tax and liability for. Okay, joy. Limited. As the profits. Why it's not available as a professor entirely withdrawn as writer's remuneration. Okay. So if you click on this, you can see here what's written. Okay. Double click on this, you'll be able to see the sentence or you can even extend the lines. But I would say if you extend the line, then you know, this will move this side and then you will not be able to see. You see, you will not be able to see the number. So rather than doing it, just keep it like this. Next. So this is the first scenario. Next one is profits withdrawn as a mix of directors, remuneration and dividends. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. Okay. Copy paste. Profits withdrawn as a mix of. Profits withdrawn mix. Mix of directors remuneration and dividends. Okay. So this is the second one. Next, again, what do you have to do? Again, you have to find the income tax liability and all. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, when you want to scroll, you have to take this one, okay? When you want to go up on the Excel, because when you take this, it will go up on the requirements, but not in the Excel. So I'm going to copy this, copy page, when you go and copy page here, Okay. Paste. So again, you can write this number one because this is one only you are doing. Okay. So this time that is remuneration is how much? You are not drawing this fully. Okay. It's a mixture of dividends and take this remuneration. So before you deduct personal allowance, you have a dividend also. And then you are taking personal allowance. Okay, just you can write the personal allowance here. And then the taxable income. So what will be the data's remuneration?
it was 58.183 okay when they are taking it as a mix of data image and dividend how much will it be latest remuneration will be 8000 and dividends will be 46170 how 8000 Director's remuneration. Okay. So it is. Just wait a minute. Nope. This is the next question. Okay, so the data's remuneration is eight thousand. That's what was given in the answer. So let us see how it is eight thousand. Okay, so here they have told it's 8000 and dividend is 46,170. Okay, you see, I was looking for the numbers here, but it was written here. This is why when you are working out and when you are extracting information from it, the numbers and all, you should know from where you have to take the numbers. You have to be very quick and very swift in that. You cannot wait, keep wasting time finding out the numbers and all. Okay. So, so, so this one was 8000 and dividend was how much? 46,170. Okay, so just add both. So you can put the sum function at both and this is the total and the personal allowance will be minus 12,500. Okay, taxable income will be, now you can use the sum function because you have put a minus figure here. This and this, so it will be 41,670. Now the income tax. Okay, so on this income tax. Now, be very careful. It's not like before. You have a dividend here. So what do you know? What should you do when you have a dividend? Dividend nil rate ban. There is a standalone. It does not matter whatever your taxable income is. You will get a 2000 dividend nil rate ban. Okay. 2000 at 0 percent which is dividend nil rate band so 2000 is at 0 percent because dividend nil rate band okay so it will be 0 next what is the next one up to 37,500. So out of 37,500, 2,000 went for dividend and rate band. What is the remaining one? 35,500. This will be at what percentage? At 7.5% because the higher rate. Okay, so when you are putting here, you will be putting 7.5, sorry, 7.5% multiplied by 35,500. Okay, you can see 260, 
okay this also you can round up comma zero it will take 2663 but you can take as 2662 as well okay anything is acceptable next the balance the remaining okay so this is 41670 okay and when you are taking 37500 out of this the balance is 4170 that is that will be a 32.5% okay this rates are there in a formula sheet also you can go and check in case you forgot but definitely since you have practiced this many times there is no chance that you will forget okay so now equal to 4170 multiply by 32.5% if you are confused with how many decimal places how many zeros you can just put it in terms of percentage it will come okay so this also you can round up okay click the um, number comma zero okay next what is next income tax liability or income tax people whatever it is here what did we write income tax or liability okay You see, when you copy pasting it, it will copy exactly the same thing with the highlighting, highlighted and all. Okay. So next, what is it? Just add the sum. Okay. So this one is zero. So we are not taking it. Which is this two? Which is four thousand eighteen. Okay. Next. So this also we are going to highlight. You can choose any color, okay? But don't choose dark colors and also that you cannot see the number. The number have to be very clear and visible after you highlight the cell. So make sure you choose a color which is visible, which makes your answer stand out, okay, and more visible. Now, what about the class one and I C? There will be no class one and I see for either Joy or OK Joy Limited. Okay, this you need to write. I'm not writing it down. Okay, there will be no class one and I see for either Joy or Joy Limited as the earnings of eight thousand are below the and I see lower threshold. You see, look at the remuneration. It was eight thousand. This eight thousand is below the and I see lower threshold. What is the and I see lower threshold? Okay. In case you forgot, you can go up to the tax table and see. So NIC, you can see here the rate. It is nine thousand five hundred. So it is below nine thousand five hundred. Eight thousand. No NIC for that. That's why there will be no NIC. Okay. You have to be very alert for these reasons because it's very easy that what students do. They start calculating NIC. How they have calculated previously for this one when it was just remuneration. This you should avoid. Okay. You should always look at the amount. Whether it's below the threshold, whether it's in the threshold limit or not. So no, and I see this. You need to write that there'll be no NIC because it is below the lower threshold for both. Okay, for both Joy and OK Joy Limited. Next, corporation tax. This time you have to calculate. Okay. So OK Joy Limited corporation tax liability for the year. You need to write it. You need to mention clearly for whom you are making it. So, okay, joy. Because definitely, when you you would be writing this in the paper base, you would be writing right the proper headings and also even in the CB platform, you have to write corporation tax liability for the year ended. What is the year ended? It is fifth April two thousand twenty one. Okay, fifth April two thousand twenty one. You need to write clear dates. Fifth April two thousand twenty one. Okay, so now 
when you are starting the corporation tax what do you start with you start with trading profit okay trading profit from trading profit you deduct director's remuneration because you are taking from the profit you are withdrawing director's remuneration okay so dr next whatever you get it is your taxable total profit it is known as ttp or you can write taxable total profit taxable total profit or you can write ttp the short form so what is the trading profit the trading profit was 65000 here taxable total profit that is also known as trading profit which is how much 65000 okay and what is the director's remuneration it is 8000 okay so you can write minus 8000 because you'll be deducting it because when you put bracket it will not work out why when you put bracket here it will not take you have to put minus in this why because when you go to the form itself it go to the form itself and when you go to the number right it is taken as this if you want to change it in terms of bracket you need to change the style formatted because it is already formatted like that that they will accept the minus answers when you put in bracket even though bracket means it's a negative figure but it will not take let's see what happens okay let me show you a demo here 65,000 and you are putting in bracket 8,000 now let us put the sum function it will not work out yes you see it didn't deduct this 8,000 it just took the 60, 65,000 So don't make this mistake okay you also need to check yourself okay whether it's making sense or not just see this is 65 how can this be 65,000 when there's a deduction you know so that tells you that there's a mistake you should make those mistakes and try yourself you just cannot blindly rely on Excel okay because when you're not inputting the correct system Excel will not Excel will make mistakes depends on what number you're putting so you have to put a negative okay because the one excel which is given on your cpu platform compared to a normal excel which is there in your laptops it's different okay this has been formatted that way if you want there is another way of showing this what you can do is you can write less data remuneration and you can put this a positive figure so when you're putting some so then you can deduct it okay normal way you can deduct it that way also you can do okay but then you have to write it's less here okay for example let me show this okay less i'm writing this and this i'm not writing it in negative i'm writing it in positive okay then when i'm writing it what i'm doing is this minus this amount okay and it will show the same answer only so this way also you can write but when you are not putting this less this less is not there you are just putting directory remuneration then you have to put then put minus and you can use the sum function anything is acceptable okay so which is 57000 in corporation tax is what corporation tax is 19 percent okay fifty seven thousand at 19 percent okay so, oh, now here 57 multiply by 19 percent okay you can put 19 percent or 0 0.19 it's the same answer 10830 don't forget to highlight this also be consistent when you're highlighting one answer then highlight the others also okay so now you are not done with it this is not the end the question asked you overall tax saving and nic saving you have to show how much you have saved that means you have to compare the two figure okay so the overall tax and the nic saving if joy extracts profits using a mix of data remuneration and dividend is how much that you have to write okay 
So how are you going to show that? Just go by before. Okay. So before it was this. Okay. Then it was this. Then it was this one. 6, 8, 1, and 7. Okay. The other thing is. You didn't calculate here this one. Okay. They asked you. Uh, class 1 NIC payable by both Joy and Okijoy OK Limited. You didn't calculate for Okijoy OK Limited. The reason is already calculated here for you. 6817 for employer. Okay. So 6817 also you have to take. Okay. I'll be showing it for you. I'm just saying now. What are the figures you need to take? And then after you take the addition of it, minus it from after. After means just when you're taking remuneration and dividend, which will be. This one. Okay. 4018 and then this one. So can we do this? Okay, you need to write this overall tax saving. Tax and NIC saving. Okay, tax and NIC saving. So overall tax and NIC saving, you can write the sum. Okay, so what is the sum? This, okay, this is before, then comma. Okay, you can write it here also rather than keep on scrolling down and all this one, comma. Okay, Then it is 6817. 6817, you can type. Close bracket. Next. This you will be showing for the new one. Okay. Make sure that you write the labels. I'm not writing the label that this is before. This is just remuneration and this is remuneration plus dividend. Okay. So it will be again some function only. It will be this comma this so now it is just this minus this before it was this now this so how much it has saved seven seven six six you see seven seven six six so this I'm going to highlight you can even highlight it in a different color also because that is the main answer. The main answer asked you what? Calculate the overall tax saving in NIC. So this all you can highlight in yellow maybe. On this you can highlight in a different color. It's up to you. Or you can highlight in the same color. Okay. Now let me tell you the marking scheme. How they are giving you marks. For you to have an idea how to do such questions. Okay. So this and we have done. We have completed this question. Okay. So profits withdrawn entirely as director's remuneration. Okay, under that for income tax one and half mark for NIC one and half mark for corporation half a mark. Why corporation half a mark? Because you have to write that one line when no corporation tax is payable. For that you are getting half a mark. Next, after you are taking remuneration and dividend three marks for income tax. You see, three marks for income tax, one mark for NIC, and one and half for corporation tax because here we have to calculate corporation tax. And NIC no NIC to write that is just half a mark. Sorry, one mark. And saving to show the saving seven seven six six one mark. Okay. So let us go to the next question. The next question is more simple. It is just for two marks, and you have to write. Okay, this is a theory question. You don't have to calculate anything. Okay, so this such type of question should save your time, whereas calculation takes more time. So you have to accordingly manage your time. Okay. Whereas if you see, there's so much of things to read. Okay. So this scenario relates to four requirements. Clearly, they have told you 
You don't have to read everything for this. Clearly, they told this scenario relates to four requirements. That means this one and the remaining three requirements will be on the scenario. Okay, we'll be using the same scenario. What is the question? State two advantages for sure of choosing 5th April as an accounting date rather than date earlier in the tax year, such as 30th April. This is from your textbook, by the way. It's there in your textbook. What are the advantages and all? Okay. So how in the marking scale, how will you get these two marks? That means you have to write one mark for one point. That means you have to write two points. Okay. Two points you need to write to get two marks because one point is one mark. That's how ACCA gives marks. Okay. One mark means one point. So for two marks, two point you need to get. But when you see the marking scheme, they give more than the points required. Why? Because when you are looking at the marking scheme, the examiner knows you are studying from that marking scheme answers. For your studying purpose to know all the possible answers in the marking scheme, they include all the possible answers. But don't panic by looking at the marking scheme that the answers are long. It is longer than usual. You don't have to write that much. Write two points is enough. Okay, sometimes they will give you three, four, five points also. Okay, but I will be giving you all the three points. Okay, because this is you can take this in as a study session also, not just uh, getting the right answers. Okay. So advantages of selecting the 5th April as accounting date. What are it? First one. A date of 5th April makes the basis period rules more straightforward. Okay. Why? Because it falls in the tax year, even your tax year is also like that, right? 5th to 6th, sorry, 6th to 5th April, rather than 30th April, right? It, it, it follows with the line of your tax year. So it's easy, that's very straightforward. Okay, so a date of 5th April makes the basis period. You, you see, you have to talk about, you have to mention about basis period here. Makes the, And this is nothing new, okay? This is all from your textbook. From your taxation textbook. Makes the basis period rules more straightforward. The next point. What is the next advantage? Because they told stage to advantage, okay? So you don't have to keep on explaining, explaining, explaining. Okay, just like this one line is enough, brief. Not even one whole line, it will be half a line. But don't write in one or two words, okay? Never make that mistake. It has to be a complete whole sentence. You cannot say it is more straightforward. Okay, some of you might write it is more straightforward. No, you cannot write like that. What do you mean what is more straightforward? You have to mention that a date of this makes the basis period rules more straightforward. So on commencement, when you are commencing a trade, there will be no overlap profits. Okay. Overlap profit means when your profit falls in two separate years. Okay. This and that, which becomes more confusing, right? But due to this date, there is no comment. Okay. No overlap profits. And the third one okay this is for your understanding purpose it is not in the answer it's not required because some of you might give the first or the third point some of you might give the first two points some of you might write the second or the third point so it could be a combination of any of the two okay that's why it's important that i give all the available answers so on cessation okay when you are seizing what's happening the final basis period will be a maximum of 12 months will be 12 months rather than a longer period if our date early in the tax year was chosen
So that this next let us go to the next. The same. Okay. As you can see, Excel is there. And you have been given how many requirements? B, C, D, three requirements. Okay. So calculate assurance revised tax adjusted trading loss for the nine month period ending 5th of April 2021, six months. Next, explain why it would not be beneficial. Explain. Okay. Why it would not be beneficial for Shara to claim loss relief under the provision giving relief to a loss incurred in the earlier years of trade. Okay. So you should also assume that tax rates and allowance for the tax year also applied in the, all the previous tax years. Okay. Because definitely we know tax rate and allowance keeps changing from year to year. So for this question, it is assumed in the past year, it is the same as 2020-21, making your life easier. Okay. So assuming that Ashura claims loss relief against her total income for the tax year, calculate her taxable income for this tax year, five months. We have been given Excel. Okay. So it is about Ashura. Okay. So let us read. This is from employment. Then we have self-employment. Then we have other information. Let us read the other information. Ashura's total income for the previous four tax years. They have given you. Okay. So let us read the case study. Ashura has been employed by Rift since 1st of Jan 2018. She has also been self-employed since 1st of July 2020, preparing her first accounts for nine months period ending 5th of April 2021. The following information is available for the tax year employment. During the tax year, he will a cross annual salary of this much. On 1st of Jan, he personally paid two subscriptions. The first one was a professional subscription paid to HMRC, approved professional body. The second was a subscription to a health club, which Ashura regularly used to meet Riff's PLC clients. Ashura was not reimbursed for the cost of either of these subscriptions. During the tax year, he used a private motor car for business purpose. She drove 3,400 miles in the performance of her duties for Rift, for which the company paid her an allowance of 55 pence per mile. So many things in one question. During the tax year, he contributed 2,800 into the HMRC registered occupational pension scheme. There are two types of pension scheme. One is personal, one is occupational. Okay. And 3,400 draws into personal pension scheme. Self-employment. Okay. So definitely all these things is not being asked in this question okay we are more concerned in the self-employment part okay because the question asked how they are going to adjust the text adjusted trading laws and all it comes in the self-employment part trading laws and everything okay trading laws and all will not come from your employment thing so employment purpose will be asked in some other requirements but this is for your self-employment so from here we have to read Ashura's tax adjusted trading loss based on a draft accounts for the nine month period is this much. It's a loss and this figures before making any adjustments required for. What are those adjustments? Advertising expenditure incurred during January 2020. This expenditure has not been deducted in calculating the loss of 3300. Okay, it has not been deducted. Uh, cost of Ashura's office C note 2 below and capital allowance. So, Ashura runs her business using one of the five rooms in a private house and office. The total running cost of the house for the nine month period ending 5th of April was this much. No deduction has been made. Okay, okay. One of the five rooms in the private house has an office. That means the four fifth is private house and one fifth is office. The total running cost of the house for the nine month is this much. It is what? running cost of house for nine months okay it is already taken for nine months you don't have to apportion if they give annual then only then only you have to apportion for nine months okay no deduction has been made for the cost of the office in calculating the loss no deduction has been made for the cost of the office and on 10th june he purchased a laptop computer for 2600 okay third one 
On 1st of July, he purchased a motor car for this. Motor car has emission rate during the 9 month drop total of this month. Out of that, this 2500 was self employed business journeys. Okay. Okay. It's a pretty uh, too much to you know, digest. That's why you have to practice, practice, practice. Not only practice writing, practice your reading skills also. You have to be fast enough to read, understand, and then write also. Pick out information from the case study and write it. Okay. So. Starting with me. Okay. So how are you going to start this? Okay. Definitely for B, C, D, all the three, you will be using the Excel. So you clearly need to mention in the Excel which part of the requirement you are answering. Number one is that thing. Okay. That you have to bear in mind. Otherwise, you will lose a lot of marks if it's not clear to the examiner, even if you are correct. Okay. So I'll be going a little fast because I've already covered one hour. So within two hours, I have to finish the whole paper. So I'll be going a little fast on this. Okay. Ashura part B. Okay. So next it is Ashura. Okay. So never mind. Just ignore my spelling mistakes. Trading loss for the nine month. Trading for, for nine month ended 5th April 2021. Okay. So never mind the spelling mistake. Let's let us go. First is the trading loss. Okay, starting with trading loss. What is the trading loss? How much was the trading loss? It was 3300. So this I'm going to put a negative uh, minus figure. Okay. As I told you, bracket does not work in Excel before. And it's for all the other papers also, not just for taxation, all the CB paper. Next, we have advertising expenditure, which needs to be deducted. Advertising. Okay, expenditure. So how much was advertising expenditure? It was, let us go up and check. It was 800. This was not deducted. So now it needs to be deducted minus 800. Okay. This also will be minus. That means it will be added in the expense. Use of office. Use of office is not deducted. You have to deduct. Use of office is how much? If you see use of office 4350, out of this one fifth has been used as office. Okay. So you have to find one fifth of 4350, which will be 870. And this will also be minus one fifth of okay so 4350 divided by 5 is 870 okay capital allowance working is there for capital allowance c sorry c a capital allowance okay whenever you have working put in bracket w or you can write working to show that there's a separate working for capital allowance below or you can do it sideways or sideways okay then after you take the working, then we have the revised trading loss. Okay, then it is revised trading loss. So now, but before that, we need to do the working for capital allowance CA. Okay. So three columns will be there. This will be your main pool. This will be your motor car. And finally, the last one will be your allowance. No special rate pool because it depends on the type of product you have. Okay. So additions, you have to do additions over here. Okay. Make sure that you know the table of capital allowance and know how to work out. I'm exactly following the rule. So first addition is what laptop computer laptop. Okay. Which will go where in the main pool. How much 
laptop was purchased for 2600 okay next we have motaka okay motaka was purchased it will go in the motaka and motaka is how much 25600 okay this one next we have aia that is what is it annual investment allowance okay a i a 100 percent you will have ai okay so on this laptop you will be minus 2600 you will be having 10 100 percent on laptop which is 2600 okay so whatever is here you are taking aia it will go in the allowance 2600 keep it in positive okay under allowance next we have wda written down allowance wda you can write wda it is understood wda will be how much okay let us go to the help tax table and tax table and go to the capital allowance part If you see the capital allowance, the special rate pool is 6% and the main pool is 18%. Okay. And but we are more worried. Okay, for but this is for plant and machinery. Okay. Let us go to the motor car. So motor car, first you have to see the emission. Emission is 117. If you see here, 117 falls more than 110, so it will be 6%. Okay. And motor car okay how many months nine months okay during the nine month period they have clearly told during the nine month period so you have to apportion it for nine months six percent of six percent okay so you have to write six percent into nine over twelve for nine months okay so this when you are taking it that is twenty five six hundred Okay, how are you taking it? So, equal to this multiply by 6% sorry, 6% multiply by 9 over 12 it will be 1152 Okay, make sure this is also in minus. If you want to show this in minus, just put a minus outside the bracket. Before you, so equal minus bracket. Okay. Now, what happened? For allowance, okay, you cannot take the full allowance. You have to take only those which is for self-employed business journeys. So he dropped 8,000 miles out of it 2,500. So out, so out of 8,000, only 2,500 you can take as allowance. The one which he dropped for business journeys, okay? So when you are taking this one, it will be... Sorry, this. Sorry, this 1,152 will come here, okay? If you want to copy this, copy... Now, when you paste, it will not paste. You have to go to paste special and calculate the value adjusted because it formula has been applied. Wherever a formula has been applied and you want to copy to the next set, it will not copy it because you have to select whether you want to take it with the formula or you want to just take the value. So let us just take the value. Okay, now it is taken. So this you can erase it off. Okay, because W2 is for the Mutaka. So next. For this, when you want to take for the allowance, okay, if you take this, it will show a negative. So what you can do is you can put 1152, okay, into 2500 divided by 8000, 360, okay, so this is this one. So WDV, that is written down, value carried forward.
W D B. Carried forward. How much? It is zero because it's gone. Next, you can write some function. Okay, take this both. Okay, just two to four eight, and for this also, you can just take the sum function. And just add this two. Two nine sixty. Okay. So there has been some uh, tutorial note which has been given to you. Okay, so with this part B is over. Okay, but we have to take this two nine sixty capital allowance. Okay. Here minus two nine sixty. So now, what are you going to do? Just put sum, and then just drag all seven nine three sixty. It will come in minus. Okay, so this is the revised trading loss because the question asked again. Read the requirement. Calculate the revised tax adjusted trading loss for the nine months. Just what that's what we did. So part B is over. With this, there are some tutorial notes which I think I should mention to you. Okay, relating to advertising expenses, motor car, and the laptop computer. Okay, so first starting with the advertising expenditure. Expenditure, advertising expenditure was in, incurred during January 2020. It's a pre-trading, if you see. Expenditure. What is expenditure? 2020 right it is pre trading before you started trading and it is treated as incurred on 1st july 2020 and adjustment is therefore required so adjustment will be required there okay because it is treated as as though it was incurred on 1st of july 2020 okay so adjustment is required for this advertising next Relating to motor car, okay. So motor car emission is over 110, so it only qualifies for six percent. Okay, that is there. Laptop was purchased on 10 June 2020. It is also again a pre-trading capital expenditure, and is therefore treated as incurred on 1st of July 2020, which is after a year. Okay. So now let us move to part C. Part C says explain why it will not be beneficial for charity to claim loss relief under the provision giving relief to a loss incurred. Why it will not be beneficial to claim loss relief under the provision giving relief to a loss incurred in the earlier years of trade. It's for two marks. Okay. So you have to explain here. Okay, the working is not required. Two marks, two points you have to give. Okay, this also you have to write in Excel only. There is no way. Okay, so you have to write as for part C, and it's the first point. So you can write one, and then you can drop your point. So the loss of okay, seven nine thirty would be relieved against total income for two thousand seventeen eighteen to two thousand nineteen twenty. To see you. From 2017-18 to 2019-20. Okay, I'm not writing the answer for you, but definitely you can hear me, so you can write it down. The loss of 7930. Just now we found the relieved from part A. Okay, that was the loss. Sorry, from part B. So this will be relieved against the total income from 2017-18 to 2019-20. Earliest year first. So all relieved against 2017-18. It starts because only previous three a year you can take to relieve. Okay, you cannot take this year. Okay, the fourth year does not come. It comes from the three years. That's the rule. And how does it start? It starts from 2017-18, earliest year first. Okay, so if you see your loss was how much? Wait, you need to take this up. Your loss was, and this also I can highlight. Okay, revised 
so it was 7930 so if you see this loss is much lesser than this so the full the loss will be fully utilized in this year itself 2017-18 you see because it is 10,800 so that's what you are writing next the second point you will be writing is Assured as total income for 2017-18 is covered by her personal allowance of 12,500 assumed. Okay, it's just an assumption. The, the total income for 2017-18, 10,800, if you see, it is less than the personal allowance. Imagine, let's assume they haven't taken the personal allowance. Okay, whenever you're writing assumptions, basing assumptions, you have to write in bracket assumed or assumption. It's assumed like this. Okay, so if you see it's less than personal allowance, so your whole Total income will be utilized by personal allowance. That means zero, no tax liability. Okay. So a loss relief claim against 2017-18. Now, if you claim this 7930 against this 10,800, what happens? You will not save tax. Why? It will not reduce again any tax saving because still you will have some total income left with you. After you deduct 10,800 by 7,930, on that you have to pay tax. You are not saving tax. Whereas personal allowance was taken fully rather than utilizing tax here, zero tax. No tax in that year. You can save tax, you see. So that those are the two points you need to write for part C. Coming to part D, assuming that Ashura claims loss relief against her total income for tax year 2020-21. It's not given here. Calculate her taxable income for this tax year. So this will be taken as part D. Okay. So let us go to part D. But this is what Ashura taxable income. Two thousand twenty twenty one. The date is very important. Okay, so first taxable income means what? Now you have to take the employment also. You have to take the self employment also. Everything is included there in the taxable income. Okay, so starting with your employment income. Okay, never mind the spelling. Okay, employment income. So, in your employment income, what falls? The second, you will make it bold. It salary. Okay, salary is there. How much is the salary? Okay. Your salary is. 56,600 first point okay we are going point by point okay there are 56,600 this is your salary so 56,600 so salary next we have mileage allowance okay MA I'm writing MA for mileage allowance so how much is the mileage allowance in bracket I'm going to show a working 3,400 at 10p Okay, why 10p? 55 minus 45p. So if you go to the mileage allowance, mileage allowance comes here 3400 she dropped and 55. So the highest one is 45. So 55 minus 45, that's why the difference is 10p. So 10p at 3400, which will be 340. Okay, next we have the pension contributions from both. Okay, pension I'm going to write PC. 
please don't use short forms you write full the reason i'm writing is to i don't have time okay because it's already one hour 20 minutes and i have two more questions to do so, occupation okay for occupation i'm writing o for personal pension i'm writing b okay so for occupation it will be deducted that's why it's minus how much we have to go no, no point number two is for subscription okay it comes in point number four so it is 2800 okay 2800 is occupational and next for personal is how much it is zero okay why is it zero why is it zero because they told that 3400 is there because the personal pension scheme contribution does not affect the calculation of taxable income you should understand this but it will extend the basic rate band by 3400 assured us basic rate band is how much currently 37500 okay because of this personal uh, uh, contribution into the personal pension scheme by 3400 it will extend by 3400 but it will not affect the taxable income that's why we are not taking it okay only occupational pension scheme comes so it will be zero okay next we have what is the subscription subscription also two types professional health club so subscription i'm going to write s and for professional it will be p and for health club it will be h okay so for p again it's a deduction so minus professional how much it was 320 here this is why picking number is very important it saves a lot of time okay i exactly know that it's in point two rather than keep searching here where's the number and all it wastes a lot of time trust me searching and all that's why practice practice because when you practice your subconscious mind knows that uh, this information will be here this information will be here okay because similar type of questions will come then that, that nature type of questions you know that when this question is asked the information is like this so i will get the information from this it will be in, in different points you see and now for the health club it is zero it is zero why if you see health club how much they have taken 680 but we are not taking why is it because it is not an allowable deduction because membership is not necessary for asher to carry out her employment when something membership is necessary okay for you to carry out your employment then only it is required to deduct you otherwise you cannot deduct so health club and all is personal things you cannot deduct okay next is your loss relief so first let us add because we have to add without that knowing the total we just cannot write loss relief okay we need to know the total okay so equal to sum so just drag everything and it will be this it's more than the loss okay we are taking with this here loss so loss relief how much is the loss relief negative 7930 just now we calculated it in part b next we have okay so let us take the sum this two okay this is the total so it is more than the personal allowance we have to deduct personal allowance. never forget to deduct personal allowance at the end this is a mistake which candidates do so i'm warning you so that you don't do then comes your taxable income okay sum again you can use the sum function just put undo the reason i didn't put equal sign that's why my sum function didn't work out this two so this will be your taxable income okay please put the name there
so now the loss relief cap does not allow because assurance trading loss is less than the greater of 50,000 and 25% of our total income what is it there is a rule okay that you cannot there is a cap to how much loss you can relieve against the current years trading income okay so, sorry the total income but here it does not apply here you can fully relieve why why because that loss is less than the greater of 50,000 or 25 percent of total income okay so what is 25 percent of total income if you take 25 percent here okay Do twenty five percent of this, okay? So this one and this fifty thousand, okay? It has to be greater than this two. If it is greater than this two, the greater of this two, okay? Then you then there's a cap, okay? That's a limit. That's the maximum you can relieve more than that you cannot relieve but here 7930 is less than this also less than this also so fully you can take the loss relief okay this rule is there in the tax table also there is uh, okay it just there is this limit yep cap on income tax relief it is this one otherwise unless otherwise restricted reliefs are capped at the higher of 50,000 or 25 percent of income whichever is higher it is capped at that okay so this also need to highlight okay because the requirement asked taxable income so we are done with that also okay so here let me tell you the market scheme is very important quickly i will tell you for part B, which was for six marks, two and a half marks for the loss and three and a half marks for the capital allowance calculation. Okay, then for the loss relief, two marks, and for the last part, taxable income. Okay, for calculating salary, half mark, mileage, one mark, pension, one mark, subscription, one mark, loss, one mark, personal allowance, half mark. Okay, so if you see for each of this, you are getting marks. This one, one mark, this one, this one, this, 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 this also. Even personal allowance half a mark and finally tax level allowance. For each item you are getting marks, okay? So that does not matter sometimes if your final answer goes wrong, please don't panic because if your working is there and if other figures are correct, you will get marks. You will just lose that one mark, that's it. That's why you have to do the workings and all. Let us go to this. Okay. So here, so since if I come to read this, it will take a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to read this. Okay, wherever something needs to be taken, when I'm taking information from somewhere, I will let you know. Make sure that you go through it, okay? Read it. This is your practice test one, as you can see from here. So when you read, go through this, okay? Calculate the 10th limited taxable total profit for the four month period. Okay. For seven marks. So let us quickly do that. Okay. Tenth limited taxable total profit TTP for the four month period ended. You have to write period. You cannot write a year because four month is not a year. Period ended thirty first July two thousand twenty. Okay. Next, starting with trading profit. Okay, 
So how much is the trading profit? Your trading profit is this 52,400. Okay, tax adjusted trading profit 52,400. Double click 52,400. Next, we have balancing charge. For that, we have a working. So we are going to write W1, okay, working number one. It shows that there are many other workings because we number the workings when there are many workings, okay? So working one, which we'll be doing shortly. Okay, first, don't do, when you're putting uh, another thing, okay, advises when you're writing something in the main table, for example, this is the table for calculating TTP. You're putting all the items. Don't put your workings underneath this balancer. Keep some space. Okay, some few space. Once you're done with this table, just have an estimate how much space you might need for this. Then you can go down and start doing your working. Okay. So here, the next one will be revised trading profit. Okay. It will be known as a revised TP trading profit. From there, we have property business income. Okay, when you read the whole case study, you will understand that all this are there. Okay, for this, we have a separate working. So, W2 working too. Next, we have chargeable gains. C. Okay, after that, we have the Qualifying charitable donation. Okay, so we'll keep on space and then we'll have QCD. Okay, QCD stands for qualifying charitable donations. Even in the exam, you can write QCD, it is understood. Then after you deduct QCD, it is your taxable total profit. TT, sorry, TT uh, P taxable total profit. Okay, now you can do your workings. Get okay, this, I will put it uh, highlighted. Then this answer will be highlighted so you can already okay so now you're working one w1 is for balancing charge okay so here we have main pool and charge mp which is main pool and charge So W D V brought forward. Okay. How much in the main pool? If you see it is 12,000 point number 2, 12,400. Okay. Text written down value of the company's main pool was this. And he purchased a laptop. So this will come in the addition. So addition is 1,800. Okay. You need to write addition. Next, we have the proceeds you're selling of. When you're selling, you're having in the proceeds, okay? What is it? How much is the proceed? Let us go around. So, your yes, proceeding is 28,200, okay? The company sold all the items included in the main pool at this rate and the computer for 1,300. So, basically, you are adding both equal to Put a minus figure because it will be deducted. Okay, so 28,200 plus 1,300. Okay. The reason I put minus is because I need to deduct it from this. So now, you can put sum. Okay. It will take then we have the balancing charge it's a negative figure so we have a balancing charge okay b c what is it 15300 because we want to have z zero okay so this will be a balancing charge 15300 remember earlier we had an allowance now it's a charge Okay, so this 15,300 needs to be added with the trading profit. 
go up and add this 15,300. Okay, you can even copy paste. So now you can do the sum, add this balancing charge you add, okay, balancing allowance you deduct. Then we have property business income. For property business income, working too. W2 property. Okay. Property business income. Make sure that you write the whole thing. So, first is rent receivable. How much rent you are receiving for the property? Next comes your impairment loss. It's possible that you can have some impairment loss in your property, right? Next is your running cost. Definitely, running cost will be there. Okay. And finally, whatever is there is your property business income. Okay, property business income or property income. So, what is your rent receivable? If you see, you need to go to the property. Okay, here, point number four. So during the four-month period, he let one floor of his free whole office building surplus to requirements. The floor was rented at this per month. Okay, it is four months, so thousand two hundred into four month, which will be four thousand eight hundred. Next, we have the impairment loss. Okay, if you see, what is the impairment loss? So this is for eleventh limited. Okay, we don't have to read about it. We only need information for the 10th limit. So where is the impairment loss? Okay, an impairment loss of 1200 has been made. The flow was rented at this per month, but the tenant left owing the rent for July 2020. That's why there's an impairment loss of 1200 for that one month. Okay, so 1200 and it's minus, okay, impairment loss. Next, we have the running cost. What is the running? How much is the running cost? 6300 if you see the total running cost of office building for four month period is this 6300 of which one third relate to let floor okay so one third of 6300 will be taken so which is 2100 okay again it's a cost so minus 2100 now just take the sum this three so 1500 is the income so you have to just copy paste it to the main table. That's it. And the chargeable gain. For chargeable gain, there's no working. Chargeable gain is just check point number three. He sold the office for 180. Building was purchased for 151. 34 and his index cost is this one 164. So when index cost is there, you have to deduct the sales proceed minus the index cost, not the original cost. Okay. So it will be 180, 180, 300 minus this. The difference will be your chargeable gain, which is 15,800. Okay, and your QCD is was 800. We saw here. Point number five. Okay, so you see each point is in different point and it is not in order. That's why keep practicing. Okay, 800 is minus 800. Then you are just having the sum. That's it. Okay, no, from this device TP, this. Nope, there is a mistake, a mistake has been made. 
This you have to find out first, okay? And this is 15,800. Property business has been wrong, okay? This is the reason. Property business was 1,500. Okay, this is why you have to proofread your work also, what you have done. You have to check yourself many many times before you actually submit the answer while you're practicing doing also you have to see whether it's correct or not now sum this three you add okay from there you take sum and then deduct this by this first you have to find that total because sometimes it could be less than the cha qualifying charitable donation the total that's why you have to first find this 85,000 this total then deduct Okay, so it is 84,200 is the taxable total profit. Okay, where this we have done this also, and the marking scheme will be this is how your seven marks are given to you for TTP two and a half mark. Okay, for balancing charge three marks that is your working one, and for property another one and a half mark because you have to do all this working. Okay, wherever more working is there, more marks are there. That's how it goes. Next. And this is the last question okay relating to the same and this is relating to the 11th limited okay tax adjusted trading profit for six months okay and for eight marks so it is similar to that but some facts information is different here here also you have to calculate the here you have to calculate the tax adjusted trading profit okay in the previous one it was Okay, see if you don't scroll, you cannot go previous or next. It was taxable total profit in the previous one. This one, it is tax adjusted trading profit. Okay. For 11th limited. Okay. So this also quickly I'm going to do right so i'm not writing all those okay make sure that you write part b 11th limited and tax suggest your trading profit for six month period 31st march 2021 all those things you need to write okay here in the excel that's I'm, that i'm not writing i'm going to start directly from okay when you are finding trading profit start with operating profit op then we have depreciation, D, E, P. Then we have amortization, A, M, O, R. Then we have deduction for lease premium. Okay. Okay, I'm writing lease premium LP. For that, we have working one. Then we have interest payable. Then we have capital allowance. For that, we have working to CA. And finally, the result we'll get is your TP, trading profit. Okay. This also I'm going to highlight. So your operating profit, you can write. What is your operating profit? I need to go down. <laughs> Okay, your operating profit is 122,900. Okay, this is your operating profit for six months. Next comes your depreciation. Okay. Your depreciation is 2580. Okay, clearly they have sold depreciation 258 and amortization is 2000. Okay, so you can just write it as it is. next we have a working for lp that is your lease premium okay before that we can do the interest payable since we don't have a working for that what is the formula for that interest payment so for interest it is made a loan of hundred thousand on this you have to pay five percent okay for how many months it is for six months okay so for six months on hundred thousand five percent it will be two thousand five hundred which needs to be deducted minus 2500 okay 
next now we are going to do the two workings okay w1 for lease premium okay so premium paid how much is the premium paid for that we have to go to this point number two okay so paying premium of 60,000 okay premium paid is 60,000 next we have the less less what okay so we have 60,000 okay I'm going to do the working here itself okay equal to it will be 60,000 on the list premium multiply by 2% Okay, and this percentage is fixed by the way. Okay, it is 2% only always. On that, multiply by for how many years it was? 15 years. So 15 minus 1, 14, which is 16,800. Okay, this needs to be deducted from this. I don't know whether it's there in the formula or not. Let us go and check in the text table. For lease premium is there or not. No, not not all formulas are there. So you have to remember that 2% for lease premium deduction is 2%. Okay. Next we have amount assessed on the landlord. Okay, which is okay. No. Oh. So you've got to take the sum of this. This and this, which will be 43 200. What is this? This is the amount assessed on the landlord as income. Okay. This 43 200 and you are going to deduct okay deduction is equal to this you are going to divide it by 15 years okay because this is for one year you want to find out okay and that oh, sorry for six months you want to find out so first you find for one year how you divide it by 15 years now you multiply by 6 by 12 because for six months okay or you can just multiply by half also it's the same thing One four four zero, okay. So this one four four zero only you are going to deduct it. Copy. When you are pasting, paste a special just the value. Okay, this needs to be deducted. Next we have CA. W two, okay, which is capital allowance. So here also we have MP, the main pool and the allowance. Sometimes we have allowance, so sometimes we have charge. If it's a charge we add, if it's an allowance we deduct from the in trading profit. Okay, so addition motor car. Motor car. Motor car one. If there are two, then you can write addition of motor car one. How much it is? It is 12,600. Because he purchased two motor cars. Okay, so the first motor car was 12,600 in the main pool. So you write 12,600. Next we have WDA. Okay. WDA. On this how much is WDA? 18%. Okay. Because they have given it the emission. Emission is 19. So it will be 18%. For 6 months. So 18% into 6 months. So this sorry if you want to calculate this definitely it will be a minus okay on this you are take this is what happens when you try to speed and then you know everything fails okay never mind in it anyway so this equal to minus bracket this one multiply by 18 percent multiply by half or 6 over 12 it's the same thing okay 
1134. Next, addition qualifying for FWA. Okay, whatever you write here, here you need to write 1134. motor car too okay how much it is so if it's first year allowance we don't have a working for it but here you can write how much it is it was here you can see 13,200 why it is the, why are you getting FYA for the second car not for the first car because of the emission look at emission emission has to be less than 50 grams to get the FYA this is 90 grams that's why we are not getting it's in the main pool but here it's 40 grams okay that's why we are getting a first year allowance okay it is there even in your table also in your working formula sheet go and check and f y a is 100 percent okay 100 percent which will be minus 13 200 there's no separate column here only you are putting so this 13200 goes here in allowance okay so here finally when you're adding the sum it's just the sum this and then here it will be this two Fourteen three three four. So this fourteen three three four will be copied. Okay. Copy. No. Paste. Just the values. Okay. This needs to be deducted. Minus. So now you can just put the sum function and then take it. Okay, it is 109.206. That is the trading profit. Okay, so with this, I have finished this question also, the last question in taxation. Some notes to remember is some tutorial notes which is given us. So if you see for the second motor car, because emission is less than 50, it qualifies for WD, okay, FYA, first year allowance, okay. So therefore, the private use of the motor car is irrelevant because there are no private use adjustments in respect of a company. This is a company, okay. If you see, usually what happens is when there's a private adjustments for the motor car, we have to do some adjustments for the private part. Here, we don't have to do because this is a company. 11th LTD it's a company for company there are no private adjustments okay it's a rule this is why when everything is comes together in taxation the company the individual the sole trader it becomes very complicated sometimes to do okay so that's it and I hope that this video shall help you to do more questions in the future based on the special section C on taxation right if you want me to do more questions on taxation or any past paper from taxation on the CB platform then let me know because it's possible you are given that blank response there you can do any past paper the questions you have to keep in front of you on some other uh, windows you can keep it open definitely it will not be there but yes the empty spreadsheets and words you can use to write your answers and all because definitely it does not make sense you practicing on the paper base whereas it is a CB platform now right so with this I like to end it here and see you in the next video. Next video will be on financial reporting, which will be tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll be uploading videos on financial reporting. Same way how I have uploaded the other part one, part two, part three, part one, section A, part two, section B, part three, section C. That's it. Okay. So hope to see you and don't forget to share this with your friends and subscribe to my channel so that you get updates to all my videos because now all the papers for ACCA will be on my channel. Right. I'm uploading it. I'm making it. Inshallah. Not currently, but you know, you never know in the future all the videos, whatever you want, any paper, any question you want to do, all the papers will be on my channel. So 
if you want to take that advantage where you don't have to keep going here and there struggling which one is better you can come on one channel and see through the other papers as well okay so that's it and take care see you in the next video